welcome to Exclusive Access. My name is Sheila Gashuma and today I've been invited to the office of the Lord Mayor, Arias Lukwago. We are with him today and I want to know his other story. He is a successful lawyer, a politician, a tabloid headliner, known for his sophisticated English terms and a friend. I sit down with Kampala's Lord Mayor to find out his fun and entertaining side that I'm sure most of us don't know. She said, I'm my lover. You belong to me and I belong to By the way, apparently the Lord Mayor has the hardest English. So I don't know what you guys who are watching are going to do about this episode, but he's going to keep it cool. No no low, eh? No, no legal jargons, definitely. You know, recently on 19th September, we, we saw you on the stage dancing with Eddie Kenzo. Eh? Total yours. I just love Eddie Kenzo, Kenzo music and that particular track. And I really uh, happy that uh, it is hitting uh, uh, the international scene. I monitor uh, um, the views on uh, YouTube. It's in millions. Uh, it's a recorded track. And uh, I think it's one thing we should celebrate. I love him. I love his music. So the song relates somehow. Does the song relate somehow to you know what is happening in your life right now? Because Kenzo says that you're lost. Well, it brings out a message which resonates with the mission I have, where you have to venture into something, no matter the risks and of course, no matter the challenges where people come out and say, "You man, uh, why dare you do that?" Thank you. Why don't you apologize to the president so that he can let you access your office? Why don't you do A, B, C, D? You hear all that kind of talk here and there. But uh, once you are focused on something, you say, sit here, close, come what may. I'm determined to pursue this particular course. Which schools did you go to? Um, apparently, I didn't go too well to those schools. And uh, in school, uh, deep in our village in Masaka, in primary school, I wasn't uh, that good in dancing or in art. The person who reads books, eh? were you the bookworm? That's what they call them. Those people who, who wake up in the night and, and start, you know, reading books. Once in a while I would go for extracurricular activities, but I wasn't that good. I would concentrate so much on books. And um, you'd be surprised my nickname in secondary school if you ask those people I went to school with. They would call me serious. It comes from areas. Uh, they added the areas, they added the S. Of course, they crafted it in such a way that it would sound as a person like myself here. So, they, up to now, my OBs and OGs in secondary, they call me serious. So, you never led any strike in school? In school? Um, it was only at the university level, and it wasn't a strike as such, but it was. A vote of no confidence in the leadership of Makelelo Society. So imagine, imagine you are a musician, which kind of music would you do? I think my voice would be tailored for country music. Music? Country music. <laughs> which songs have been your best music videos? I'm sure sometimes you're at home relaxing and you watch a few of you know what Ugandans have. City Alos. The other one? Um, is it Kujagana? Hairin Namatovu? Stuka, you know, I just love the drama, the art, the cultural aspect, and so on and so forth. It's very beautiful. I didn't know Another one? The third one? The third one? Oh, my God. You only listen to Eddie Kenz and Irene Namatov. What other artists, what are you guys doing? I listen to quite a number of them. Uh, of course, Nera Nera. It's a Lady, Lady and Wizzo, it's a, it's a good one. Oh, my main man, Baby Cool. This latest one, uh, it's a love song. Love you every day. Love you every day. Oh, he sings like a R. Kelly, kind of. I like his video. Yeah, and, uh, Who is your best artist for you in Uganda that you know you say this person is talented? You know, they are really talented. You watch them and you appreciate and say, this, peop this person is really representing Uganda out there. Give me like three of them. Or four. Three or four? They are quite a number. Let's start with Eddie Kenz. <laughs> why, why are you putting words into my mouth? Of course, Eddie Kenzo is one of them. 
uh, Bobby Wine is very good. Uh, Baby Cool, uh, Chameleon, definitely. Uh, uh, Mose and Radio. Weasel. Red, <laughs> Radio and Weasel. And of course, uh, uh, Juliana is very good. Um, the list is endless. The, is, the list is endless. So we've been having a scan on Facebook and social media. And as a lawyer, what do you, guys, what do you think about Desire Luzinda saga? Her pics were out there. And apparently the police is looking for her because of the so-called pornography bill. As a lawyer, what do you have to say? And what's, and just as a normal, in, let's hear your views as a lawyer. You see, I don't know, I'm really disturbed by the statement that was made by Father Rokondo. I don't know whether he was guided properly or advised by the Attorney General he had looked at the instrument himself. I don't see anything criminal about uh, Desire Lucinda's picture leaking. Probably remotely you would bring in a uh, Franklin. Is he called Franklin? Franklin the Nigerian. Something I don't even know how to pronounce his name. But in law, when you are fighting a mischief, a vice in society, there is the element of mens rea. I'm sorry to bore you with it. But, uh, it's okay. It's what we call mens rea, the evil mind. You would ask yourself, in all criminal cases, the first thing you have to look out for is that intention, the evil mind, the mens rea. What was the motive? What was the purpose? What did this person have at the back of his uh, mind when, when she was doing this? It's very, very clear, right from the word of God. Desire Rosinda did not set herself out to get these pictures for the public. And uh, she didn't circulate them. You blame the people who, you blame the person who linked them and who is circulating them. So no, who, who did the circulation in the first place? Uh, that is the person would say is the axis of evil, but not desire is in the, because desire is in the for all intents and purposes. Yes, she may have uh, committed a moral wrong, but there is no legal offense. Uh, let's see, what do you do when you first, when you wake up, the first thing you do? Um, definitely I go out for uh, do exercises. Mm. I check my Insta, my Facebook, WhatsApp first. I think you do as well. Uh, not only WhatsApp, yes, I check in the media. After the exercises, definitely I have to, um, to check, to catch up with the latest in the media, the news, uh, listen to radio. Uh, they always give the, the press review, various radio stations, Radio 1, CBS. Uh, very early in the morning, they give us uh, press reviews. And of course, uh, 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 I said the exercises, and uh, I hear a pulse with, with the, the preparation of the kids because these days I don't understand. You know, kids going to school at 5:30 a.m. You know, they're still young. Very young. My first born is in P6, is uh, 11 years, and um, uh, I have twins who are in. Uh, uh, one is in primary, one, the other one is in P2. They all wake up at 5 and by 5.30 they're on the road to school. And I, that's the time I also have to wake up, so that I help Nalongo with the preparation of the kids, and everything. And the noise that uh, you can't even sleep, the noise in the house, when they wake up, they set the alarm, by 5 they have to be up. and. Uh, a lot of work for you in the morning. Okay, well, um, I want to know if you are to do a collab with any artist. If I tell you right now I have like one million US dollars, I want you to hit the studio right now. Who would you do the collab with? Uh, male or female? Um, any, male or female? Mm, male, quite a number. Mm, probably I would do it too. You know, I have a hoarse voice like that of Queen. Nubi. Nubi. Have you ever sat there in your car and you listen to this song and you're like, I, if I had money, I would just pay this guy. If he's singing for money, I would pay this guy and he doesn't sing again. Recently, Bill Gates did that to one of the rappers in America. Would you, is there any artist that you know? 
You listen to the song and you say, Rona, Ah. Uh. A name of a song? Your mind. Yeah, yeah. Wow, 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 wow. It is uh, probably uh, Mpengoni, Mpengoni. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my goodness, so the Lord Mayor said he would actually pay, you know, the president. Good to have sung that song. I think this interview is done. <laughs> That's what I had for you guys on the exclusive access. Remember to join us on our Facebook page, NTV The Beat, or go down to my Facebook page, Sheila Karo Gashumba. If you want me to host someone and you want some specific questions about the entertainment industry to go to them, just hit me up. And of course, I'll host them just for you. Let's connect back to the studio with our boy, Douglas.